Hello, this is Fix Car, Fix Life. Today I have with me um, 2006 Toyota Highlander. The transmission has failed due to poor maintenance. So please take care of your transmission to proper maintenance. All right, just just want to do a quick overview. I already pulled out the transmission, but I just want to give you a quick video of what I did to be able to pull it out. So what I did first was to pull out the air box and the battery. That gave me access to uh, undo all the wiring harness attached to the transmission and the lines and everything. So the next thing I did was to pull out the uh, CV axle and everything that is attached to the uh, front uh, strut on both sides. So, and uh, unhook the steering rack. <coughs> The steering rack right here. <clears throat> so what I did was I tied a steering rack to the body of the car so that it won't drop and cause any problem in the steering column or the uh, clock spring yeah so uh, and then uh so you leave the drive shaft and the exhaust everything on done i didn't touch all any of those and it's fine so pretty much unhook everything that is attached to the cradle here's the cradle because you are going to pull out the cradle to be able to pull the transmission out. So I unhook every line that is attached to the cradle. And then after you after I'm done with that, I I uh, have to so before even I drop the cradle um i have to suspend the engine because everything is attached to the uh, cradle the mount is on the cradle here's the mount and that's a uh, i think 19 millimeter bolt so you have to take those bolts off uh, to be able to uh, drop the uh, cradle yeah so I suspend the engine and then support it at the bottom with a jack all right so after I did that I use my transmission jack to support the transmission and then started taking out the the bell housing bolts there's eight of them five uh, uh 17 millimeter bolts and uh, the other ones are 14 millimeter bolts and then i came to the the transfer case there are eight bolts that is uh attached that bolt transmission to the transfer case, so eight bolts uh, to the transfer case and eight bolts uh, with a bell housing. Uh, yeah, so that's what I did. And I was able to pull it out. Um, I hope this video helps somebody. My, will happen to be in the same situation and hope this will help somebody 
to do a better job. Uh, so, what is the life lesson here? Um, I realized that I use a bunch of tools to be able to pull this transmission out. And uh, they call some tools special. I think there is no tool that is really special. Every tool is designed for a specific job. So uh, what the scanner can do, the wrench cannot do it. So the life lesson over here is that everybody is designed for specific purpose. So if they call somebody special, somebody is unique, is because of what he does, he or she does. So what you got to do is to find your purpose. And purpose is what gives meaning to life. So... That is the reason why they create a system that treats some people as special. Everybody is special. So I don't feel bad anymore. Those days I was in school, some people score higher in their tests than me and I feel so bad. Now I don't feel so bad. I don't feel bad, not so bad. I don't feel bad because I have been designed for a specific purpose and that's what gives meaning to my life. So don't feel bad when people are treated specially. You got to find your purpose and you will be treated special. That comes to the end of the video. Fix car, fix life. Thank you.